Believers, in this video, I want to take the sample of Martin Luther King to show you how you recognize a false prophet. A lot of times, when believers discuss how to recognize a false prophet, they're talking about Bible verses, about doctrine, about the Trinity, or about the dietary laws of the Old Testament. They go into so many debates, and many believers are so invested in those debates that they automatically respond when uh, they hear about uh, doctrine, differences, all of that. Look at the bigger picture. There's a very easy way to recognize a false prophet, whether it's a male false prophet or a female false prophet. Now, Satan also loves to use female false prophets because the witchcraft from those women are so smooth, smooth, that you often don't realize it's being done on you. But okay, I spoke about witchcraft, black magic before, watch those other videos. There's a very easy way to recognize a false prophet. Do they honor the resurrection power of Christ? One simple question. Do they, whoever that messenger is, or whoever the uh, prof, so-called prophet, apostle, or uh, pastor, or deacon, whatever, whoever they are, there is one question you should ask. One simple question. Do, does this individual honor the resurrection power of Christ? Because believers are meant to operate in power. It's because of the power that we are able to overcome the enemy. It's because of the power that we are able to trample upon scorpions and serpents, and the whole camp of enemies that nothing by no means shall harm us. Because the enemy operates with violence. And violence kills, violence harms. Violence mutilates, violence does a lot of harm. So, the way we shut down violence and we overcome violence is through the power. That's why Christ said, I gave you power. Not authority. Power. To turn upon scorpions and serpents and the whole camp of the enemy. And nothing shall by no means harm you. And this power is manifested in Christ's resurrection, and when we walk by faith, we participate in his resurrection power. And there's nothing in heaven nor on earth that can go against the resurrection power of Christ without harming and destroying itself. No violence will survive against the resurrection power of Christ. So anyone who is sent by God will honor the resurrection power of Christ. They will. If they do not honor the resurrection power of Christ, run. Run away from them. Run away from their teachings. Stop listening to them. Even if they have so many true things they're saying, even if they have constructive messages, if they do not honor the resurrection power of Christ, stop following them, stop listening to them, and stop endorsing them. Let's say that you are on your farm. Your wife is there, you have children, including several daughters. Let's say there's a gang of looters that come and they want to rape your wife and your daughters and they want to take, rob your whole place and set it on fire afterwards. Now those looters are not there because they're protesting against injustice. They are just people that take advantage of the situation just to act out their wicked vices. Now you may say, oh Rashid, don't worry, I have my gun. I don't care how well you are with guns. When a group suddenly overtakes you, no gun will work. You can put landmines on your field, but a landmine can also harm one of your own that's walking there, one of your cattle. So what are you going to do when you have gangs of looters going around, raping, killing, and acting out uh, their misery? No amount of violence will be able to keep you safe because that same violence that you'll use will backfire on you. Nobody wins with violence, nobody. So you have losers going around forcing others to lose. The only way you win that situation is when you operate in the resurrection power. When you operate in the resurrection power of Christ, you send confusion in the camp of your enemies, including those violent looters who go around. And because of that, when they're on your way through your house, confusion overtakes them and they end up going around in circles through the same street. And people around would ask, why are those guys in the same street over and over again? So because they go through the same street over and over again, they don't even know what's happening to them. Suddenly, they decide to break it up because they're getting too much attention. And that's how your 
house, and your family is safe because confusion overtakes those who are violent. And you also have a layer of protection over your house that all negative energy stays away. So even if you have people with bad intentions, they won't be, they don't even feel comfortable coming near your house. That happens when you operate in the resurrection power of Christ. It keeps you safe, it keeps you sane, and it keeps you free from evil. So you won't have to grab towards violence to so defend yourself or to protect a loved one because the resurrection power of Christ deals with the situation in a very effective way without it costing you anything. But if you have someone like Martin Luther King that talks about we shouldn't be violent, which is true, but he does not mention the power, the resurrection power of Christ, what are you left with? With violence, you can get some relief, which I don't support, but at least you, have, you can keep some people alive if you use counter violence. I don't support that. It backfires, but that's, all, that's the only thing people have left often. So if you tell them that to use no violence at all, but you don't point out that they have the power of the Holy Spirit to rely on, and you don't emphasize that, then you are putting them in danger. And a lot of my own people, they were in danger because they were told to accept abuse and accept violence and accept their ruin at the hands of others because they shouldn't be violent. You, they shouldn't be violent at all. That's true. They shouldn't be powerful. They should for fake violence and operate in power. Anyone that does not honor the resurrection power of Christ, run from them. I'm telling you, be at peace.